Morning everyone, welcome to another episode of Jim's Magnificent Miniature Motor Cars. The first episode I'm recording outdoors, which would account for all of the ambient noise. I hope you don't mind. Actually, it's the sound of birds chirping is rather lovely to hear. Anyway, today I'll be unboxing this little baby here. This Porsche 911 Carrera S. Okay. Very nice specimen right there. Okay. So you know my affection for Mini GT. At least if I've, depending on how many videos I've posted by the time I record this, you should know that it is my preferred brand. So here's the model. Okay, now let's start with the eye. Okay. Always in shrink, as always is the case with Mini GT, comes in shrink wrap plastic. This is a pretty hardy batch of plastic. In fact, I'll have to use my car keys or something to get it open. There we go. Oh, the excitement. The excitement. Okay, you know I always get a little nervous when I open these things. I wonder, okay, the mirror is going to be in place. Is it going to be one of those things that doesn't roll? And as you can see, it's just fine. It turned out just fine. Okay, so how would I rate this model? Well, Important to remember, like all Mini GT models, this one is extremely affordable. This retails for just under $10, okay? Unlike a couple of the more expensive models I reviewed here. Anyway, get a gander at this. Remember, this, this is a true premium diecast, this thing. It doesn't quite have the level of the more expensive pieces on the market, but it stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, I'll tell you. Okay. Oh man, this is this is everything I could have hoped for. Okay, and well, like I've said before, Mini GT is my preferred premium diecast brand. It's affordable, okay, and it's just it's just great, great, great bang for buck. Okay, I know I I love to throw around high scores, you know, but you know from some of my videos that I'm I'm less forgiving of the more expensive brands. Well, this baby right here, this merits a this merits a ten. Okay, this this Porsche merits a ten because for this price, whatever may be wrong with it, paint rash, ill-fitting windows, you know, I don't really care. I mean, I'm looking at it right now as you, as in real time as you're seeing it. And I can't see anything wrong with it. I mean, I probably have to look much closer to find any real flaws. So I don't have any problem giving it a perfect score. Like I said, for this price point, whatever flaws I may find are entirely forgivable. Okay? So, so that's all for this unboxing. Okay? If you like what you see, remember to give us a like and a subscribe. That's all.